All right, this is the video showing my iPad connected to Serato over Wi-Fi, controlling it with the MIDI controller Touch OSC. I uh, set up a bunch of cue points. One, two. As you can see, there's literally no delay. Um, here I have uh, loop points. Custom, and then this is in and out points. Why don't I just do it without auto loop? And here is a loop roll. So if I got uh, um, and then the center is samplers. Um, and then the right side is the same thing. That's page one. I set up a couple different pages here. Q loops, EFX, um, a full loop page, and library. So going into loops, and when I click loops, or sorry, when I go to effects, let's just, just hold on, let's just start a loop here. There we go. So I got an eight point loop. Go back into effects, the effects box pops up, and I can just turn them on. Off, on, and that corresponds to that one. It's a delay effect. Again with the right deck. Um, this is my full loops page, and I set that up to do um, loops eight through one thirty-two. Again, uh, these are uh, loop rolls. I'm just go back there and start the song over again. So it's an eight loop, four loop. Two, one, so on and so forth. Um, and then loop roll would start it there. Um, custom in and out points. And loop on off. Um, and then the last one, which is just a general library one just more for show. I don't think I'm really going to use this page that much. Um, file, browse, history, and prepare. So just click prepare. It opens up prepare. History opens up history. Browse, you know, just like a regular MIDI controller. Um, and then these are the full, you know, the different views in, uh, in Serato 2.0. You should just kind of go through like that. I know it's a little fuzzy. I'm on my iPhone recording this. Um, this is scroll through the library up and down, um, and this is tab over to the crates. So crates, um, and then this is add to prepare. So add that track to the prepare. It should pop up there. And that is a, just a quick look at Touch OSC on my iPad connected to Serato. Um, and real quickly, to get this to work, you need to actually have an intermediary because Touch OSC doesn't send MIDI commands. You need to get a program called Oscillator and individually set each one of those um, commands, OS, the OSC commands, and convert them to MIDI, which is this. And this is a program called Oscillator which uh, is a freeware, or there's a demo that basically asks you to register and stops translating every 20 minutes, um, or you can pay the $20 and have that notification go away. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.